today we are going to be unboxing B64 Beyblade Super Custom Set Heavy Version by Takara Tomi. Attack and Balance. Here's the back of the box and the stats. Now, let's get on with the unboxing. Here's the stickers. Pretty nice. Okay, and we are back. So here's the new launcher. Love the design. Pretty cool. So now we're going to see how long this guy is. So we'll start out with the original launcher here. And we'll judge it by where the string comes out. So that is 19 and 1 quarter. 1 quarter. How much is this new one? Let's see here. 15 and 5 eighths. Rough, basically around a half. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. 15 and a half. So it is the shortest string launcher out there now. But the internals have been upgraded, and I've did some testing here, and it's basically roughly around the same as the long one that's out there, the longest string launcher. So there's not a big, huge difference, sadly. But it's still, it's amazing that this guy is smaller, but still puts out around the same performance. So yeah, if you don't want to pull that string too far out, get this guy. But be aware, if you are using the long string launcher and you go over to this one, you may feel yourself of pulling the string a little too hard. Which could be a good thing if you want to get a, the maximum speed out of this guy. But be aware of breakage. So now we'll go on to the close-up. And we are back. So we'll start with the close-up on this one. The balance type, Victory Valkyrie. So here's Victory Valkyrie. Beautiful purple. And love the green mixed in there with the metallic stickers. Beautiful. And again, this is a reinforced one. You don't have to worry about it like the first Victory Valkyrie that is released. Then we have Triple. Beautiful Triple. Kind of a baby blue metallic. Then we have Unite. Unite is a repeating part, again, as of all of these. Beautiful Unite, like the orange kind of color. And again, this is one of the parts you would buy this set for. It is Unite's pretty fun to experiment with. Okay. Now we're going to go on to Ifrit. Okay, now we are on to Inferno Ifrit, the main blade of this set. So far, I have to say that it is pretty cool. I like the colors of Inferno Ifrit. And it is nice that Takara Tomy brought back the name, but it doesn't look exactly like the Ifrit we knew. Here's the bottom. And here are the teeth. The teeth look pretty decent, actually. I'd like to test this guy a little further here. So we'll test that on the spin test for this guy, or the battle test. Okay. And then we have Magnum. Magnum is a repeating part, but they brought us a gold version. Pretty sweet. Then we have Liner, a new part. Now the gimmick of this one is it is a wheel. This is the first time in Beyblade history that I know of, because I've been doing doing Beyblade since 2001, and this is the first time I've seen something like this. I have never seen a blade that had a wheel, like vertically or horizontal. This, this is interesting. I'd like to test this a little bit more. Okay, so now we'll go on to the attack type. Okay, and now we're on to Storm Spriggan, the attack type. Here's Spriggan, repeating part. 
kind of in a nice blue crystallized color here. Beautiful. Then we have Boost, a red Boost. Oh yes, red. Beautiful. Then we have Impact. Kind of an interesting little tip here. Haven't really found a nice combo with it yet. But nice little green, repeating part. Okay, now we're going to go to the blades all finished. And here we go, here's the blades all finished. Beautiful. Love that color on Victory Valkyrie. And that Inferno Ifrit is beautiful. Awesome. Oh, and that Boostus I can see right through Strigan. Beautiful. Loving that orange driver. Here's Ifrit's liner. And there we go, that green impact and that red boost disc okay so now we're going to do a test spin here and I have a stopwatch down here so let me start this here three two one Okay, first one we're going to test here is Kaiser Kerbius, Heavy, and then Claw against Inferno Ifrit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Interesting with that liner. Next, what I'm going to do is Inferno Ebert against an attack type combo Valkyrie, Gravity, Extreme. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. With only one click. Attack type combo. Whoa, two clicks. Okay, now we're gonna do Trigger versus Inferno Ifrit. Let's see how the Beast Trigger works. Okay, now we're gonna do Inferno Ifrit versus Trigger. Three, two, one. That liner kicking in. Oh. Let's try with a more powerful launcher. Here we go with ripcord launchers. Trigger going first. Three, two, one. Whoa, 
good. How many clicks on trigger? Basically almost a half. Just just a half. Almost none. And Inferno Efrid. One just one click. That's pretty good. And thank you guys for joining me on this unboxing. And yeah, the parts you would want from this set are Unite, the Inferno Efrid layer, and Liner. Liner was pretty interesting the way it acted there in the battles. And the layer did pretty well. It did not burst. And the string launcher, uh, I'd like, I like the stamina one better, the longer string. But it's also nice to have a string launcher for the ones that don't like to use rip cords. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section of what do you guys think of the colors of the blades and the parts. And what do you think of the new blade, Inferno E. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Blader Zio signing out, and I'll see you guys later.